Well, over the weekend, we saw Scott McLaughlin claim another Nashville pole, Espargaro win the Silverstone Moto GP, Aussie Matt Campbell claimed a win in America, and there's been a shake up to the title fight in the World Rally Championships. Let's get into it. At IndyCar's Nashville Street Circuit, Scott McLaughlin scored his first pole position of the year. But despite a strong start, the Team Penske driver crossed the finish line second, only 0.7 seconds behind Kyle Kirkwood, who took the second win of his IndyCar Series career. IndyCar will return next weekend at the Indianapolis Road Course. MotoGP returned with a bang at the Silverstone Circuit with rain making for some unpredictable racing in an incident field race. But it was Spain's Elish Espargaro who prevailed after a last lap attack on Francesco Bagnaia. Australia's Jack Miller finished ninth. MotoGP will next race at the Red Bull Ring in two weeks. In Michigan, the NASCAR Cup Series has been postponed until Monday afternoon due to rain. The race was already delayed an hour and 43 minutes by the weather before drivers managed to complete 74 laps when the race was stopped. Tyler Reddick is the current leader. Racing will resume at 3 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And Supercars Championship leader Bodie Kostecki has unveiled his unique helmet design ahead of his NASCAR Cup Series debut at the Indianapolis next week. It features a grey wash of Indianapolis history surrounded by green highlights. On the top, it includes the first Indianapolis 500 winner, Ray Harun, who won the event in 1911. In Finland, Elfin Evans has reignited the title fight for the World Rally Championships, adding the power stage win to his Rally Finland victory. The Toyota Gazoo racing driver had a 32 second lead going into Sunday and walked away from the weekend with another 25 points. The World Rally Championships will next race in Greece from the 7th of September. In Wisconsin, Australia's Matt Campbell and teammate Felipe Nasser have won the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship at Road America. The Aussies started from pole position and rocketed the number seven Porsche to a strong lead from the start. Looking ahead to next week, and Brody Kostecki will make his NASCAR Cup Series debut alongside Shane Van Gisbergen's return at the Indianapolis Road Course. IndyCar will also race at the Indianapolis Road Course for the Gallagher Grand Prix. Bonneville Speed Week will continue all this week in Utah. And back home, the Shannon Speed Series will race at Queensland Raceway, featuring Super Cheap Auto TCR Australia, the National Trans Am Series, Fanatec GT World Challenge Australia, Kumo V8 Touring Cars Series, Porsche Michelin Sprint Challenge Australia, Mobile One Australian Production Cars and the Monochrome GT4 Australia. And do you want to win a money can't buy once in a lifetime experience at this year's Bathurst 1000? Speed Cafe has teamed up with Pertec to give one lucky motorsport fan and their guest an ultimate Bathurst experience while raising vital funds for neuroscience research at St Vincent's Hospital. Pertec has pulled out all the stops with the prize including accommodation, a helicopter flight of Mount Panorama, a lap in the safety car, awarding the Pertec Pit Stop Challenge trophy, behind the scenes tours all weekend, waving the starters flag, meeting race winners in Pertec Victory Lane and more. For details on how to enter, click the link below.